Now, if there ever was a zombie outbreak, it might not be caused by a bacteria, it might not be caused by a virus, it might actually be caused by a mushroom. That is the premise of a new HBO show called The Last of Us, which is actually based off of a video game set in an apocalyptic world where the apocalypse was actually set off by a cordyceps mushroom outbreak. Now, I love seeing mushrooms in pop culture, obviously, and this actually came on my radar a long time ago because anytime we would post a real or a story or a picture of cordyceps mushrooms, we would always get people in the comments saying something along the lines of like, oh no, not this again, or I can hear the clickers or whatever, obviously referring to cordyceps mushroom, the show, and the potential zombie outbreak. So you might be wondering, and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, could this actually happen? Well, the answer is yes, it could, if we were all bugs. Cordyceps mushroom does actually infect insects, very much so the way it's represented in the show. I guess the show probably puts it to a little more of an extreme. So basically the spores of cordyceps mushroom will infect these insects, they will take over their body, they will grow through their body and their brain, and they will kind of control them, turning into a zombie and getting them to do their bidding. But luckily, this can't happen to humans, or at least it hasn't been shown to be able to happen in humans yet. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, cordyceps is a host-specific fungi, so it only is able to infect certain types of organisms, those again being bugs like ghost moths or bullet ants. Second of all, they just don't have the right stuff for the right enzymes to be able to reproduce properly in human tissue. So even if they were to get into our body or into our bloodstream or something, they wouldn't be able to use that and be able to grow into hyphae and mycelium and take over the body like they do in insects or like it's represented in the show. It's just not possible. Finally, our immune systems are actually very well adapted to deal with these types of fungal pathogens. And this is actually something that we evolved over time because when you think about it, we evolved alongside with mushrooms and our immune systems needed to be able to fight that off. And we actually breathe in spores every single day. Every breath you take, you breathe in spores. So if our immune systems weren't able to properly recognize those things and deal with them, well, we probably wouldn't have lasted that long. I find it kind of funny that in the show, it's this cordyceps mushroom that takes over humans and turns them into zombies. But in reality, people actually use cordyceps mushrooms, specifically cordyceps sinensis and cordyceps militaris to do the actual opposite. It's used for things like energy, for endurance, but also for things like lung health and immunity. So although cordyceps mushroom is unlikely to cause a human zombie outbreak, mushrooms are pretty wild. So, you know, I don't completely disregard that as a possibility of something else like that happening in the future. This video was a clip from The Mushroom Show, which is the one place you need to be to stay on top of all the amazing things happening in the world of mushrooms. Click here to watch the full episode that this clip was taken from, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch the next release.